and needs more time. Where would you go? <clears throat> Anyone? Has you considered the dream? Have a global, you want to see how the whole fits together, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I would ask what it was like when she said, Oh my goodness, we have to get out of here. Okay. Um, I was wondering, it, it, why did you have the question, Are they without bad or evil? Okay. What brought you to that question? Was it, it was turning about itself? Yeah. What, Brought you to that yeah, that's going outside of the dream. Mm -hmm. Not that it isn't a good question, it's a good question. Um, Is there a theme <clears throat> going on here through each paragraph, or is it different? That they are similar, same. Pardon? They're similar, same. Okay. Is it, therefore, is there one thing going through the three? She has a question. Huh? It seems like she has a question in the first paragraph and the last paragraph. It's the same question. Mm. Okay. It seems like it's, it, yes. it's always good and bad and some concept of correction. That's true. That's true. So, therefore, Examples of it? Um, given that, given whatever you are saying, in what paragraph would you begin your question? Mm. Or you can do this. Well, what? what about finding out which one was more intense? Yeah, okay. Or state of mind wise? Or you could do what I often do. What is that? What do you make of it? Well, um, 
the second paragraph was what I remembered. And that's why I put the first paragraph on italics, because as I was doing the first, second paragraph, and I went through all the, and I went through the third, I, it says before that we were talking about the gods. I remembered that, and so I put that before, but it's, it's not as clear. But I do remember asking the question, uh, do the gods correct themselves? Uh, so it started out with I was somewhere with Pierre and others, yeah, okay. a group. How would you come on? So, given what you just said, well, I wanted to correct that, but I I remember the sec first, or I'll call it the second paragraph, uh, was a real um, was a real trouble for me. I was really struggling because I didn't want to use the words evil or bad. So when I was asking the question with Pierre, uh, I would say that was the center for me in terms of the dream, and the state of mind was quite powerful. Mm -hmm. Good, good. So then you're counting four paragraphs. No, I'm only counting three, but... But, well, the, the first and last is... The same. Same. Right. Good. 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 The second one was what I more vividly remember. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what do you make of it? Okay. That was the question. Right. Now that we straighten that out, go ahead. Um, I make that I am uh, um, puzzled about things and I'm trying to be careful about how I ask questions about what I'm puzzled about. Careful in the sense that I'm not, I'm trying to be more accurate I think would be the better word. Okay. Okay, now let's therefore jump into the second paragraph. What do you see on that? Oh, just what I said. Hmm? That uh, I was, I wanted to be accurate about when I asked Pierre, I was, I wanted to be accurate and careful about what I asked. Oh, excuse me, then you're in the third. Oh, I'm sorry. The third paragraph? Wow. Oh, okay. Then the sheen, yeah, the scene yeah, shifted. Yeah. Um, it just, I don't know how it shifted. It just shifted. That's good. And we were to leave. The whole group was to leave. And we had to leave by 2.30. And it was getting close. I think it was about a quarter to two. We had to pack and leave. Go ahead. What's the, what happened? Um, and as we were leaving, I, I wanted to take something to eat. And I noticed in the sink that there were strawberries. And I thought, well, I'll take some strawberries. But they were in the sink. And then I thought, well, um, there were some green strawberries on the side. So I thought I'd just switch them, just put the green ones in the sink and take the ripe ones. So I did. And then I left. Uh, what did that activity have to do with leaving at 2.30? What, how much, in other words, that's, you're using your time. I had done everything. I was ready to leave. I was just and picking my was stuff it up. Was it then 2.30? No, it was before 2.30. Well, we have to, okay. I hadn't, it hadn't, I was, it was before 
Okay, and this is before. Yeah. I wasn't late. Okay. So then this is how you're using your time before you're leaving, right? Right. No, no, no. And you have a question, and what kind of decision is this now? Come on. Well, there's two kinds since you brought up, did I even have to go there? Um, uh, um, I just saw them. They were really pretty ripe strawberries in the, in the sink. And... I was going to leave them, and then I thought, well, maybe I can, it would be good to have a, something to eat on the way. What would you call the activity we're engaged in? Come on, you're, come on. You put a name on it. You're there, right? I guess I was just wondering. And what are you doing? That answers the question. Mm, wondering. Um, I think I was doing some wondering while I'm. I had finished everything, and we had to get out of there, and so we were all. We had all packed. So you're wondering why. That was all before, and then. You're wondering, wondering why. What? Come on. Well, uh, do I want the strawberries? They look good. They were right. So it was kind of like picking something up that I didn't need, but kind of thought that it would be okay to have. Yeah, let's see you're wondering about this. What would you call this kind of reflection then? Hmm. Of secondary, just hmm? talking, looking at food. What does that mean, secondary to? You? Well, it's um, as I said, looking at something that I don't need, but. Then what would you say you'd be doing if you, since you went ahead and did it with that background? Well, I picked something up I didn't need. What do you want to call that, doing something you didn't need? Distraction. Oh, uh, more. A tangent. Well, yeah, make a judgment now. Um... Yeah, a tangent would be better. No, no, no. So you're doing something that's a distraction, it's a tangent, you don't need it. So... Um, I mean, it's, they're what? nice, but Pardon? they're a tangent. They, they, there's, they're a tangent. They're well, not... Would you say you're doing your best at this point? In making my decision? Yeah, you know, and going through this is... I mean, making my decision is the best, but it's a tangent. It's not something that's needed. What does that mean, though, when you say you're doing something that you don't need and it's a tangent? I don't know. It's a tangent. It's not something that... That's enough. Okay. <laughs> now, t take a look at the question you're asking. Um, which one? Well, you can go to the last one. <clears throat> does, does the first uh, or last the second? One, four. Oh, do the gods correct themselves? Oh, four. What do, do you see in that? Do the gods correct themselves? Uh, are you correcting yourself? Um, yeah. 
I'm not correcting myself from the tangent, though. Therefore? Therefore. If you're not correct. Well, I guess I'm not among the gods. I don't know what you mean. Well, you came to something. What did you just say at that moment? Well, I'm not among the gods. Because? I don't have any idea. Pardon? I don't know. Well, it's just what you just <laughs> saw. What did you just say? What did you say about the gods? Do they correct themselves? Yeah, I asked you, are you correcting yourself? No, I didn't correct myself. I, I picked them up and I left because we were all leaving. What would it be to correct yourself in this story? Leave without the strawberries. I don't know. You tell me. Just leave without the strawberries. Oh. oh. They weren't needed. Oh. So you have a question about the gods and you have one for yourself. I don't have one for myself. Well, we're bringing one up, are we not? Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What does that suggest to you? Um, <laughs> um, what does it suggest to me? Um, it's, see, here's the, the theme is, right? Do the gods correct themselves? And you have a story that applies to you. I don't know. Yeah. Well, do the gods correct themselves? If they did something that needed correction, then I presume they would be correcting themselves. I, yeah. If you're doing something that is incorrect, finish it. Well, I'm not correcting myself. Right. Therefore? I'm not among the gods? Yeah, of course. That's one of them. Okay. That's right. But uh, I didn't think I was among the gods in the dream. That's, of course not. We're just applying the, the principle that you have, the question you have, we're applying it. To your episode. Oh, okay. That's Do all. the gods correct themselves? Uh, no, I guess I don't apply it to myself. Okay. Then what is it that got you to do this? What do you mean, what is it that got to you? get into the separating the, the, the strawberries? You already said it, but I'm asking it again. What brought you to do something that was not necessary? I saw some ripe strawberries in the sink. What was that like at that moment, seeing them ripe? They were really kind of ripe, huh? nice, plump strawberries. Yeah, what did it do to you? What effect did it have on you to see them as bright, I mean ripe and beautiful and right? What was that experience like? See, it looks like that's a standard you're using. So, what, what did it do to you? See them at the dream, at the dream, and the moment in the dream is what we're asking about. Um, wasn't anything spectacular. I mean, it wasn't anything spectacular. It was just looking at red, ripe strawberries. The inf effect was Look, you said, like... You said, you see, a moment ago, you said it was good to have them. To take with me, maybe, on the trip. Yeah. Uh, thinking that I may enjoy them on the trip. Right, so not only were they ripe and pretty, but you thought later you might enjoy them. Huh? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Mm-hmm. So, what would you say got you into this situation then? What kind of thinking brought you into that situation that's being picked up in the dream? Well, 
Well, so, when I, I saw them, I saw the red, ripe strawberries. So but like I went through yeah. the idea of later I may enjoy them. Like mm. we don't have any food on the plane, so it so was kind this, of this like thinking ahead. This reasoning, this reasoning, goes against this reasoning. What do you mean? Uh, didn't right. want them. They look good. Didn't need them. Don't need them. They look good, but I don't need them. Uh, do I even want them? Uh, right? These are, yeah, those are questions is, that I had when I was looking at them. Yeah, this is the, the doubt that accompanied this, right? Before, yes. Yeah, right, right. Like those were the things that I thought. Right, and they're running against this. But then I thought, well, I could... I could enjoy them on the trip. So those were the doubts or thoughts that I had before I decided I'd take them. Yeah, that over that had greater power than the to see that later on on the train on the trip I could enjoy them. Yeah. Therefore, what do you see now as a conflict? Is there a conflict between your original seeing and expectation and your doubt about what you're doing? Well, it looks like I didn't stay with the doubt. I just went ahead yeah. and said, hey, I'll go ahead and take them right. and enjoy them. And right, right. So what does that tell you, what your dream is telling you, that you left this and went for that? Just the enjoyment. You know, it wasn't something that, as I said, I w it was needed, but I could foresee that there could be a, you know, I could benefit from them. Enjoy and them. Benefit or enjoy? Well, enjoy them. Because there's a benefit on both sides of leaving them alone and they both can. Well, uh, yeah, I, I mean, leaving them alone would be leaving them alone. Um, mm -hmm. I. I I don't know, I was faced with them, and so I found a benefit for them. I, benefit, I found a benefit. No, pardon me, that is, you want to call that a benefit? To enjoy them? That's not a benefit, that's pleasure. Okay, that's pleasure. That, I benefit is something good is going to come out of it. No, oh, just enjoy them. No, a good may follow this by not going along with this kind of thinking. I don't know what you mean. Well, uh. the question is, what would you expect it would be like had you followed this rather than this. See? That's the issue. Well, I, wouldn't, I would be doing something that I really didn't need. And... And if you did this? Well, it would be a tangent. No, no, for no. For sure. No, you don't need it, therefore you wouldn't be doing it. Well... Right, this is saying what? Right. I didn't want them. They look good, yeah. and I didn't need to take them. Right. Um, so if you continued with that, that then you would be functioning in a certain way, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would be functioning that I took a tangent. Uh, but you're not making a judgment when you say tangent. Just uh, <laughs> either one could be called a tangent. The question is, we're, we're dealing with the word benefit as a good. Here you see, there isn't a, a there is no good that follows from this other than pleasure. Is, if you were to do things with this in mind, only do what you need, 
what would that do to you and for you? That would be good. Ah, 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 thank you, right? That would be a benefit. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah, yeah. And if you do that, that would be correcting your activity, what you decided to do, which is to take them and... Enjoy them. Yeah. 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 Now put that back in terms of the gods. Uh, Can the gods correct themselves? I, uh, I, that was a question I had. No, no. But if they are gods, and they, would they have the ability to correct themselves? I had that question. I know. I'm because there were there was some troubles in the gods. Huh? There was some trouble among the gods. In the discussion that we had, we, uh, there was some trouble being discussed among the gods. And I had the question, do the gods correct themselves? Well, answer in terms of what you consider to be the way the gods function in, in that dream. Looks like, according to what you're saying, there, apparently there was a conflict among the gods, and now you're asking, can they correct themselves? Yeah, do they correct themselves? No. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a conflict here? Are there two different ways of going? Well, the, the two different ways is that I didn't need them, but I later saw that they, I would enjoy them. Those would be the two different ways. And I, I took them because I saw that they would, I would later enjoy them. Those would be the two ways. Is that correcting myself? Um, it's, a, it's an answer to why I would pick them up, but it's not correcting, I don't think. I, I mean, I didn't leave them. I, I don't see I'm correcting myself. I know. I'm saying if you were to correct yourself, you would then be following which one of these two models? I would, I would leave them. That's right. You'd leave them. You wouldn't, need, wouldn't take them. Right. 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 And you see that as a good. Yeah, I didn't need them. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I ask you again. In terms of the gods, you're saying if there was a conflict among the gods, right, that means there's some disagreement going on, so couldn't they correct themselves? That's a good question, see? Yeah, I, it wasn't answered. It was well, that's just okay. But it now, or it may can, have been. But. Can you, there's a conflict here between two alternatives. Uh-huh then what would it mean to correct yourself? Well, I guess looking at the dream. <laughs> uh, looking at uh, whether I needed the uh, strawberries or not. Those would be the questions I had. And how would you answer it now? Well, I didn't need them. And therefore, how would you judge? Come on, when you, I'm waiting for a conclusion. Therefore? Well, I would... If I could have done that in the dream, I would have been correcting myself. Ah, that's the answer. Yeah. But I wasn't there. Okay. But it's raising that issue on two levels, on the gods and among men. Yeah, that's true. Okay, good. good. What about the second paragraph? Please read it. Um... I was somewhere with Pierre and others. I don't remember. I asked Pierre carefully. I didn't want to use the words evil or bad, so I asked him, does the, no. uh, this should have been the second hypothesis, have anything no. less than excellence? No. And he said uh, no. Which one of these paths uh, requires a, this curious thing called excellence? Uh, Uh, it would have been the, if I'd have turned around, yeah. it would have been 
the second one. Yeah, right, right, right. Interesting dreams are nicely done too. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Questions, Wally? Anyone? Good, good, good. Thank you. Thank you. Fun. Yeah. Fun. Thanks. Cool. This one. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, hey. Um, Marie and I were doing something together, like browsing, and a woman was interacting with us. We were friendly and kind to each other. So we started to leave, and the girl follows us out. I see a big guy with dreadlocks standing outside. I feel like he's loitering. As we walk by, he, uh, she, she stands next to him and uh, asks us for money. Then Marie says, sorry, I don't. And before she could finish, the guy, uh, then the guy says, I already hit her up. Then they started laughing at the top of their lungs. So I turn around and said, what did you say? and went toward him. So he noticed me and uh, started throwing uh, blows, but I dodged them all. Then I think to myself, to look for an opening to Roman, Roman kick him in the chest, then I wake up. Hmm. How would you approach it? Um, I wanted to know about the guy with the dreadlocks, what gave Don the impression that this guy was trouble. Where did it hit him? Good. It seemed, things seemed to be going quite well for a while. Mm -hmm. And then maybe at that moment or mm -hmm. the moment, they, they start to go real bad. I think, yeah, I think the part when he said, uh, the guy said, I already hit her up. I don't know, is that a bad thing? Or, and they started laughing. What, what triggered you, I guess, what made him mad at that moment? Okay. Good, good, thank for that. Okay. But, How where's the problem? That's right, that's the question we're raising. How would you approach this stream? What is the problem? Yeah, you got it. I'm a little bit like uh, Sam. I want to know where, mm -hmm. what, what happened to cause him to co turn back and go and engage the fellow, right? With the comment, "What did you say?" I think was the was the comment. That, to me, that looks like a it looks like a problem on the face of it. Because up to then, it didn't look like a problem. I agree with you. That's a, that's a good entry, right? What do you think of that? I agree with her. Therefore, what question would you ask? 
um, <clears throat> perhaps what state of mind was he in? Yeah. It was a, like a defending type of state of mind. Hmm. Um, trying to, it's what culture teaches. Um, you're not nobody's bitch. And so uh, when I felt first he was being um, shady, I mean, what I mean by loitering was like he was standing up and he was like looking around like this, like he was looking for an opportunity. Mm. And when the lady that I was being uh, nice and kind to went and stood next to him and made herself part of him, and then they both laughed at the top of their lungs, it, uh, it set, it, I saw the injust, un, injustice and I wanted to do something about it. I wanted to go up and and talk to him, and, and Marie tells me that sometimes I, I um, when I talk, I'm animated, mm -hmm. and um, people look, think that I'm angry, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so uh, I feel he was protecting himself because I was coming up to ask him in a hot manner, which I should not do, mm -hmm. and I know that. Mm -hmm. So what is it about this that's telling you about something you already know? Well, I still need to deal with it, I think. Yeah, yeah, but um, uh, by the way, uh, so you're responding to what you see as an act of injustice, right? Mm -hmm. What was the injustice? Well, I felt that um, when uh, she was kindly responding to the girl, he uh, interrupted rudely and, uh, I don't know, I felt I had to stand up for my wife at that time, which, if I just kept on walking, they, they'd just be laughing and I'd still have that good day that I had. What did the laughter do to you in the dream? I have a problem with that. Um, Go ahead, more. Anywhere I'm at, if, if I have like my back turned or anything and I hear people laughing, it, uh, it pushes a button. Uh, what kind of button? Uh, uh, not a good button. Yeah. Yeah. And I get, uh, yeah. I get um, uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Self-conscious. Yeah. Um, and in the past, I would usually stand up and say, uh, what, you got something to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're still after this. What is it like pushing your button like go? Oh, it was uncomfortable, but do you have other words for it? Yeah, it's... Um, it brings up anger. Yeah. And hostility. See, that's what we want to know. Right? Mm -hmm. Brings up anger and hostility. Um, it pushes a button. Uh, it brings up anger and hostility, right? Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. That's what it does. Yeah. That's what the dream is focusing on. So, um, what do you make of that, uh, what we'll call the episode of pushing a button, because we know what it does, it brings up anger and hostility. So you just gave one word for it, uncomfortable. Got other words, what it does? Um, it makes me want to uh, impose my will on others. That's good. That's good. Yeah, can you go more with that? That's a very good expression. Um, it makes me want to change their mind. Yeah. 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 Yeah, internally, what does it do? What's it like? 
It's uh, not pleasant. Yeah. It's, um, I hate that state of mind. Yeah, right. It makes, it makes my heart like race and, and it turns me into a jerk. Yeah, I hate that state of mind. Mm -hmm. See, that's why it'd be good to put more words on that state of mind. Right, try it. Of course, it's not pleasant, right? It's certainly uncomfortable, but... It's, uh, uh, I'm trying to intimidate him. See, that's a consequence. See, that's a consequence of it, trying to intimidate someone, right? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah, so look here, we may have enough. Right? Uh, let's assume we have for the moment. What am I going to ask you? Um, Where does it go? Yeah. Um, If you, if you care to go into it. I'd like to go into okay. it with you later, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Basically, Um, there were some episodes where uh, I'd wake up mm -hmm. and I'd hear um, some injustice going on and uh, at home. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I wanted. I've always wanted to stand up and say something about it. Mm -hmm. But I noticed that... Uh, but you're pretty young at this time. Yeah. Yeah. Five? Yeah, or, uh, yeah, maybe four. Four or five, five. So, if you wanted to say something, wanted to do something, but you're four or five. Mm -hmm. Now you have to... So how'd you feel? You wanted to do it, but... But I was afraid to. Afraid to, of course, right. Mm -hmm. right, right. Too young, right. Right. All mm -hmm. kids. Yeah, right. So it becomes then a, a desire to do something, right, when you're bigger or, or right, or among people you can relate to, right? What does that do? You want to avoid that state. Yeah, I do, but I'm noticing that I... Uh I have some of that in me still. Yeah, still there. Sure. Still there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. By the way, what do you think you should have said at that time if you could have <coughs> to four or five? <laughs> well, if I could say something, I'd probably say, uh, why, why are you guys yelling? Yeah, more, come on, why are you yelling? More. <coughs> Deal with the fact that you're hearing some injustice. It's not just yelling. Why are you being mean? To, uh, why are you being mean? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. If you love someone like that, why would you talk to them like that? Yeah. And we can't say that, see, when we're kids. Mm -hmm. And so we live it out. 
Yeah, and it, and it uh, sticks to you, and you end up doing right. something similar yeah, to it. Something similar that you would have loved to have done then. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what else could you have said to them? That, that what you're saying is good, by the way, but what else? Stop. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I've said that a couple of times. Yeah. So this ancient problem is now coming back a bit, right? It's still lingering. Mm -hmm. And you have another chance to look at it. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, I'm, I want to narrow this down. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, <Pierre>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether this is a, a dream or not. Is it? No, this is the notes. This is the notes from the dream. Downstream. Oh, it's yours? Oh, those are my notes. Mary? Yeah. Fine. Yeah, okay. Show me where. Is it a dream to explore? No, it's just the notes that Good. I did for his dream that you just Oh, read. this is. Oh, okay. So you can explore. Okay, now wait a while. We need, a, we need a statement from you, okay? What is it like seeing this review the way we did it? Interesting. I, I liked it. <laughs> a lot. No, no, what do you... Did, How did I see it as the way I, I had gone, gone through it and no. going through it now? Mm -hmm. um, did, did, was something different revealed than what you did? It was kind of the same. It was interesting. It was kind of the same. Yeah. Sure. But we, we did a little more in depth because of the fact that uh, there were some things we couldn't reveal uh, for personal reasons. But uh, that's why he said he wanted to talk to you later. Can I presume you both worked together on this? Yeah. Um, what did you, in the same way, what did you say? Uh, pretty much the same thing that came out is pretty much the same thing that came up here about the passing. And then I asked him, what, why did that, why is it coming up at the end? Is it something that's happening now yeah. in the Good. present? That's pretty Put it in the form? present. Yes. And he brought up the stuff yeah. that's going on, the recent thing that's going on. So would you say we're going along the same route? Yes, pretty, pretty, same, so. pretty close to that route. Okay, good. All right, that's the important part. I mean, we have audio for you. Though. All right, okay. If you're interested. All right. <laughs> you sure, Eldar? Well, oh, then we'll do Jeff. Yep. Yep. Okay. Eight paragraphs. Take a look in the, Take a look for a few moments, please. Stay on. What? Can you do me a favor and hit the button and just pause it right now? Separate. Or one yeah. through six together and seven is transitional. Yeah, good, good. How would you approach it? One through six. What's one through six like for him? Six. One through six, yeah. One through six. Someone else?
Go straight to eight. My vote is to go straight to eight. Okay. What would you do with the first? I would come back to them after number eight. Okay. You'd first go into eight and then go into... The well, I think eight has the middling state in it, uh -huh. but it has a clear distinction between what it stands against. Okay. That's a way. How would you approach the, the multiple paragraphs from one to seven? Any particular strategy or way of going? Because that's true, seven is a transition, so we can talk about the first six as a unit and seven is a transition. Is there a theme running through the first six? Yeah, three and six. Um, Jeff has got a position. He wants he's, he, he wants to see something happen. He's mm -hmm. he's taking sides. Uh, so there, I'd like to know. I think that would be worth opening up three and six. That's true. Then how would you approach it? What, what point would you ask him to open up, or um, what would you do with what you just saw? Mm -hmm. uh, What's at stake with number three? What's okay, it's... hold it. Okay, everybody agree? A good place to go? I presume so. Okay, please. Yeah, go to three. What's at stake? What do you mean by what's Well, you've got parts of yourself acting there, right? Or wanting. Parts of me wants them to become friends. Part of me wants Willow to kick the other cat's butt. Yeah, but I... I why, the, why the tension? What do you see in it? What, what does it I mean? want her to what make up her to? mind and do one or the other and put her... Um, put herself wholeheartedly into a decision and then do it, not, not get caught in the middle and do both half-assed. Okay. What would you say is going on then from one to six? That is to say, is there some learning I'm that took place? I'm or? seeing something acted out with the cats, yeah. and I'm recognizing that in myself, in mm -hmm. the dream, uh, and I'm not liking it. Um, Yeah, okay. So six, I don't like, come on, I don't like. Yeah. Go on. What like that was, like, like what I just watched is lame. Yeah. You guys, come on, either, either kick each other's ass or hug each other. Decide. I don't want to see this thing with you kind of like in the middle. That's just. Hug or fight. Yeah, do, make a decision. Do one yeah. or the other. Yeah, yeah. That's your right. Good, good. Yeah. And uh, and how does it work out? Go ahead. Well, um, it works out that they they get along. Oh, what does that do to your? Um, um, right. Hmm? Um, yeah. What does that do to my position? Uh, I guess I, I do see that, and I. <laughs> yeah, I do see that. Go ahead. I'm trying to remember if I saw that in the dream, though. Yeah. Well, what do you see? What do you see now? Well. Uh, yes. I mean, in terms of where they ended up, it it worked out. What does that mean? So it means that there are other ways. To, to accomplish things than the two that I wanted them to oh. do. Yeah. Even though I didn't like it, so, they it, they worked it out. They're buddies now. So they worked it out, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah. And avoided, right? 
What does that mean? They worked it out. You had your way of going. Yeah. Well, That's right. How to find? That's another thing I do. Huh? <laughs> I you get. Have a whole, you also have a whole view of territorialism. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What happened to that idea as they worked it out? Um, what happens now, logically from it, or what happened in the dream? With Both. It? Well, that didn't, question didn't work well, did it? <laughs> <laughs> um, The thing is, if I, if I just relax and let the world operate the way it's going to sometimes, and, and, and um, uh, things have a, um, a, a beauty, a providence. Hmm. They, is, they, that in, is that now that you're reflecting on it or at the time? Yes, now that I'm reflecting on it. Although I can, what I'm saying is I can see that... Um, Once that was resolved, I was able to see beauty. I could go into um, paragraph eight. Yeah, right, right. So that's right. why I'm saying, right. like, if right. I just, so um, if I can six, see the beauty of something and, and okay. let them work it at out. At six, are you keeping your old view? So six is the transitional one, Ingmar called it? Well, that's not or transitional. Seven. Okay, so in six, I, no, I'm, I'm, no, no, I'm very clearly right. in the old view. So. Yeah, you're still holding on, right? So what turned it around? Did you say, now that I reflect upon it? No, what turned it around was uh, someone pointing at um, the beautiful and mysterious and getting me and the cats to look right, at it. Right, right. Someone else comes along and points out so they took me out of that. See, if they took me out of that... Like I completely forgot. I mean, it's just... Okay. Then it wasn't in respect to the preceding. They offered something of interest to you that pulled you out of it. Is that right? That's right. Okay. And you're saying, as you look at... As you look at what happened, you now have a different view of from one to five. Yes, because if I had taken this state of mind and myself right. done what that person did right. back right. in the first six, then I, I, uh, I would not have been in that state of mind. Right. Right. Say, um, go to eight and tell me what those two words mean. Uh, what did it do to you when you said it was beautiful? and mysterious. What do we do? What was that like? <laughs> what does that usually do to somebody? I don't know. Come on, more. Come on. I'm awestruck. More. Um, encouraged. Um, expanded. Uh, infinitely expanded. from the tiny little stupid drama that I was just in watching and in my head to the sense of the mystery of the cosmos. And yeah. it puts me in one of the best puzzles there are. Yeah, but you didn't tell me what it was like. <laughs> so I'll make believe you have yet to answer. Go ahead. <laughs> what, what about my answer was insufficient? You know it as well as I do. <laughs> it's like ping pong. See, so you started good. So you said awestruck. Yeah. Right? It was all encompassing, infinitely expanding. Right. So can the ignorance be the same thing? You can be awestruck at ignorance. Right? It, hey, it has an infinite capacity of expanding, it's all over the world. 
So you need something more. No, 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 no. It's yeah, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not it expanding. What? It's not it expanding. Well, go about that with two years. What was it like? That's all. Forget what I just said. Uh, by the way, uh, is it likely that you've had uh, other experiences of beauty? Yes. Where did you put this? At the top. Oh, on the top. What do you know about that? Huh. Yeah. Uh, what does uh, mystery do to beauty and beauty do to mystery for oh. you? Braze the game. Yeah, yeah. Somehow, yeah. I don't... Um, yeah, um, I'll take it if that's all you got, but... <laughs> what does mystery do to beauty and vice versa? So we're still on the same question. What, is it, what does it do to you at that moment in the dream? Yeah, I remember looking at it and it's... Come on, walk, drop, come on. There have been few times that I can remember that I felt this way, and it's... Um, well, is there anything about it you want to go back to? Is that, uh, oh, no, now that I've had one of those things, that's enough. It, it made me want to uh, see more of it. And oh, you wanted to get more into it. Oh, yeah. that's, come on, that's rather interesting, isn't it? Right. I wanted, um, I think I wanted the clouds to part. I wanted to fly up there and kind of see more because it was partially right. hidden. Right. See more, participate more. Uh, right. Is that right? Yes. Why? Because you thought what? Because it's beautiful, but it also is mysterious at the same time. It's um, yeah, but one thing about it, it was neutral. It had nothing good about it. That is the puzzle. Of what? Even in the dream, it. What? Exactly. What? Exactly. I had. I think I had that question in the dream. What, which is? Uh, what's good about it. Ah, uh -huh. good, right, right. What'd that do to you in the dream? Um, so you're in it. It's going on. Hey, what's good about this? What did that do? Um, it uh, diminishes the... the um, Did it? Uh, yes, because wh what I'm noticing about the planet is that it's, or the sphere, whatever it is, is that it's, it's more reflective than luminous. So... Look here, if it is more... I'm wondering if look it's... Here, look here, if it is more reflective, are you adding something reflective about it? What's good about it? Is Are you asking now or in the dream? In the, in Both. The, uh, I'm just trying to capture the fact that when yeah. I looked at it, it was beautiful and mysterious, but it also was like I had higher expectations for it, even though it's a, good. a great, hey, great. Yeah, state to be in. Yeah, I wanted more. Good. That's a good answer. Uh, what did you expect might come out of it? But in any case, you wanted more, I want to participate more fully. It itself was more reflective. Therefore, it must be something about it that's dynamic. It's doing something. Um, you know what I'm experiencing? I'm very confused right now. I don't mind. That's very curious that I'm, that that's yeah. right there. Right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel stung. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I I don't know where to go with it.
with it. I, I feel like I just want to like chew on it for the next week or something. I, I, I don't have answers for you. Doesn't that go to the earlier part of the dream? I wanted more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Even though what's happening with the cats. So, so the wanting more is what's diminishing it. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. All right. Good. That was helpful. Thank you. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. I have a question. What's the last Thank sentence you. people with iPad memory, people with iPhone memory, people with photographic memory can see it? Somebody says that? Yeah, the guy who pointed it. And how, how does that affect you? When you take that. Yeah. People, people, people. Um, I, I, um, well, since I can see it, mm -hmm. it's saying something good about me. Um, but it's very interesting, I think. I think if I think about it, I probably, <clears throat> it, these are all such very fleeting, you know, fleeting states that go by so quickly that I think I shut that down just as quickly as the others as well, mm -hmm. even though it's a compliment. Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite interesting to experience to some degree beauty and just be able to turn around and say, uh, what good is it? Or where's the good in it? Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're getting out of the second hypothesis. Yeah, I mean, that's the whole thing. Is like you look at a planet or you look at the beauty, and, and it is beautiful, but I can't go in it. It's just um, molecules. Yeah. So I, I want to do better than that. No. Yeah. 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 Damn good. Okay. Mr. Eldar. Thank you. Pleasure. Take a few minutes out, look at Eldar's, same idea. Look for the theme, come on. Look for the theme. If you have the theme, see how it develops. All right. What blocks it if it blocks it? What enhances it if it enhances it? What problem emerges if there is one? Come on. Same kinds of global There's no view. problem. There's no problem in my There's brain. No Okay. Suggestions? Sam? I'm kind of torn. I like the first paragraph, of, you know, the first paragraph where he's uh, talking about the girl. And then I also like the, one, two, three, four, the fifth one where he says, then I start to hear this music, this familiar music. I'm like, oh no, this sounds like Bosnian music. And then it's his dad listening to it. It sounds kind of comical, but the first, the first one is, is kind of, it's almost like, I want, what, I want to know what his state of mind is. Cause was he interested in the girl, perhaps? Or? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, someone else, please. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, seems like he's gathering evidence throughout this whole dream. 
Mm. Um, and uh, it, it's kind of similar. I think you know the evidence is kind of similar. It's bits and pieces of, uh, um, but there's a transition point right at the end of the fourth paragraph where it becomes really obvious that there's something really at stake here, dodging an invisible wave of negative energy. And I laugh at the thought. And I just thought that was an, an interesting transition point. And then it goes back to gathering more, more evidence. So I thought that might be an interesting mm -hmm, place. Mm -hmm. That might be an interesting place to go. Why would you laugh at that? Okay. You agree? Yeah, I like sentence number one because it seems to declare the truth of the dream that he like can't believe for the next four paragraphs. <laughs> and then I like the end. I like where David's going because how he what he means by last by that I think is rich. Like it seems like there's a lot of him. What did he see when he laughed because he dodged? The invisible wave of energy. Or why would he laugh when he dodged it? So yeah, like, how does he take that? Good. Good. More? What? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. ah, good. Yes, go ahead. I, I, would, I would like to know, above all, what's the problem in the dream? Right. Right. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, so of course. Yeah. Uh, tell them. Well, I think I think um, I'm most of the dream I'm wasting time. I think very early on I realized that um, I don't want to be around this girl, but I I'm kind of I keep going along with her. Even though it is dangerous and weird, as you said, right? Well, yeah, it's dangerous for her, not for me. But for mm -hmm. me, it's it's bad because I'm wasting my time. Yeah. So that's my danger. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. wasting my time. Okay. Um, I think the idea of going into uh, four is a good idea. All right. So let me ask you about this. Um, she goes in through the door and I walk past it. I kind of sidestep the entering way and I'm thinking that it's as though I'm dodging an invisible wave of negative energy. I laugh at the thought. What's going on at that point? You tell, talk about it now, right? Well, I'm... Um... They're in the entryway. I kind of sidestep the entryway. Go ahead. Yeah. The, the place that she walked into, it's... Um, it's a mosque. It's like a, it, it's something like a mosque. It's a religious place yeah, okay. where a certain ca kinds of people go. Yeah, and yeah. Um, I know that I don't like to spend time with those people. So um, uh, I, one way I think of it is as though is like they have bad energy. Mm -hmm. So um, as I'm um, doing this sidestep Go ahead. as I'm doing this uh, sidestep that's me being playful because um, as I'm doing that I'm thinking that it's as though I'm dodging an invisible wave of negative energy ah, um, as if as if yeah yeah it's, so what is the reality keep the as if I'm, as if well there isn't actually any energy or anything right, there, right. but um, I had that, th I, was amu I was amusing myself by painting that picture in my head. <clears throat> so this is an act of imagination, yeah. right? Yeah. So, right? Um, so I imagine, go ahead. 
I imagine a... It's like... It's right, like... Um, an invisible wave of negative energy. Yeah, it's like and, these people in there are so negative that there's just this right. energy like... Right. And then <laughs> that's I what I imagine. laugh. Yeah. Right? So therefore, yeah. notice the conclusion. God read it. So I stand to the side of the entry to wait for her. What do you think of that? Given everything you're seeing and experiencing. Well, I don't want to really make... Um, I don't want to interact with anyone that's in there. So I, I just... Um, I go to, I'm kind of hiding. I just stand where I'm not going to be seen and I'm like, I'm not associated with that. But nonetheless you are? <clears throat> but I'm still waiting for her. That's right. Yeah. What's that like given <clears throat> what you just said? Well, it's, it's not good. I mean. What? Th what? The, the, the next thing that I do is I'm thinking, in the next paragraph, I'm thinking that Hanging out with this girl is probably a waste of time. And I'm also thinking about what I was planning to I'm do. I'm waiting for her and I get the thought, I'm wasting my time. Right? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. <coughs> well, um... And then the episode then shifts to your father, or music. And, yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? And then music. Um, what happens with the music? Is that uh, well, similar? It's, it's a very interesting transition because... No, no. Is your reaction similar or different? I need to know that. It's louder and louder. More pleasant. No? No. You tell me. Come on. What did it do to you as it became louder and louder? Come on. And you recognize it as something your father likes. Yeah. Well, it just became more and more familiar in a mundane kind of way. Okay. <clears throat> uh, How is that similar? Come on, now that you got that point. Well, um, I mean, I'm not leaving the place, so you mean, what, what, what do you mean, how is it similar? Is there anything mundane about the episode that you just went through with the girl? Yeah. Yeah. And now another aspect of a mundane way of going? Yeah. Oh. Well, well, it's it's an interesting transition because it's it's kind of like it's almost like this is the, the perfect time for my dad to come in because it's like I'm wasting my time. Again. And then right? he, he comes in. That, that's an important theme, isn't it? It's kind of like right. the stage right. is set. Yeah, wasting my time runs it through both, doesn't it? Right, wasting time. Right. What do you make of that? Oh, by the way, uh, one last thought. Um, how are you functioning in this stream? Hmm? How, how are you functioning in this room? Well, I'm doing a lot of... Pardon me? I'm doing a lot of thinking and yeah, just yeah, that's true. kind of yeah. on the sideline. Yeah, what does that mean? Thinking on the sidelines. Yeah, go ahead. Watching the show. 
Mm-hmm. Watching the show, I said. Yeah, watching the show. It's, uh, a show you want to be in? No. Huh? I don't want to be in and I don't want but to I don't be watching. <laughs> I'm watching a show I don't want to be in. Yeah, it's a bad movie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> on both levels. Um, yeah. uh, did you answer my question, by the way? What is that like? No. What, what is it? How are you functioning? Oh, how am I functioning? Um, See, look at you added part. I need more. Yes, that's functioning. You're watching. In what state of mind? Come on. It runs through the whole thing, doesn't it? Doesn't yeah. It? Well, I'm. I'm like. I'm waiting. I'm uh, it's like it's kind of like looking out the window when you're driving in the car or something or in the on in a train yeah. um, am I function i'm I'm trying yeah okay I'll wait. Uh, Go ahead. Go ahead. No, like an audience member, hmm? like an audience member. Um, no, no, come on, we're on one word, watching. Watching. On, what's that like? Come on. What are you doing besides watching? Or, come on, you're watching with both sides. I'm also making judgments. And, and judgments, thinking. yeah. yeah. Uh, <coughs> Does some action follow from your judgments? No. Oh, that's curious, isn't it? Yeah. Well, <laughs> what would follow if you <laughs> go ahead? If you were go ahead. If I may, if I followed uh, with a- my judgments with action, then <clears throat> I. W- I would stop around the second paragraph yeah. <laughs> and, wa- and walk yeah, in the other yeah. direction. When you say, uh, say more about it, what would you be doing if you added judgments? If I added actions? Yeah, yeah that's it. what else? Um, would you be just doing things or is that not enough? Like, okay, that's enough. No, I would be doing what I want to do. And yeah, what, that's what's, true. What's, yeah, what's okay. good. Right. <laughs> what? What? What's the, what's the question? <laughs> oh, oh, I thought it was all over. <laughs> no, what's the question? Um, what are you doing with your watching and making judgments? I'm just, I'm just like, I'm not, I'm not. Um, Following up on the judgments with action. Oh, that's all you need is action. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, need action. Okay. Well, I also need the conclusion. What? I also need to make a conclusion what after is, the judgment. Uh, what? What does that do? Well, that will help me to take action. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah, yeah. What do you do? What kind of thing is that conclusion? I don't know the word. Conclusion. It's um, it's taking the judgments, taking what I see, and then funneling it into uh, a meaningful conclusion. Yeah. Uh, what do you do with the conclusion then? Uh, That's all going on in here, right? Come yeah. On. And yeah. then. Right. It's all going on. Yeah. And then I should act on the conclusion. Oh, okay, okay, that's it. Yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> that's not enough? What? Is that not enough? Well, I guess it's enough. Um, I mean, I could save a lot of time if I did that. <laughs> <laughs> 
What, what? I could save a lot of, t a lot of time if I did that. that. That may be true, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. uh, what name should we give you for the way you're functioning? I, I have one. Silent Sam the Fireman. Silent Sam. That's pretty good. Huh? That's pretty good. Why do you think, why, why do you like that? Um, well, like, I'm, I'm, because I'm seeing a lot of fires, but I'm not putting them out. Uh, what would you have to do to put them out? That didn't fit. To, to speak up? What? Do what? To, uh, what do you call that again? Speak up. What does that mean? Well, would that mean uh, sharing what's going on in here with the, these people? Is that right? Is that right? Come on, yes or no? Well, yeah, but I, I don't really see where I would be saying anything. Um, well, take the first paragraph. What should you have said? If you were to put it into words, what would that be doing? Go ahead. Well, I mean, I guess I could have, like, set them up with each other. Well... I could have... Uh, but, I mean... Like, I, I'm not interested in the girl, if that's what you want. What? I'm not interested in the girl. But you're going along with her. Yeah. Yeah, that certainly shows insight. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't. So, what... You, come on, take that paragraph. The first one? Yeah. Kind of a friend of mine. She's not really my friend. So... Um, Come on, give me the third line. I'm like, what are you doing? Oh. Uh, what is that? I'm like, I'm like, what are you doing? I'm yeah. like, what are you doing? Yeah. Is that something interior? No, that's, I asked her. Is that you? You're, you're asking her. Yeah, I am asking her. Notice uh, what you're asking her. Yeah, what are you doing? And she says she's putting down the books. Did you get an answer to that? Yeah, she says, I'm putting them down so that they can find them. Did you give any, come on, do you follow up with anything? Yes, I said, what are you, like, leaving a trail of breadcrumbs so that that guy can find you? I say it kind of half-jerkingly. Uh, is that what you want to ask? Like, um, you're not yeah. involved with her, but you're involved in her now. That's good. You can be. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, I... Uh, Do you see, as you proceed, uh, if you're doing something dangerous and weird? Yeah. Do you say anything about that? In other words, does it increase... Yeah, I, I don't, I didn't, um, I didn't tell her that she was doing something dangerous. Oh, I could have. that was good to keep it to yourself. No. No? No. I should have told her. Oh, what would it be like to put that into words? That's a conclusion, so. You're yeah. saying something, concluding about it, pulls together what came before it. But it's you're a, silent. It's a different, it's a different uh, level of functioning. Yes. That, that would be a different level. Oh, uh, what kind of people do that? Uh, what would your father call someone who does that? Hmm. Um, who puts things into words like that? He would say something like, they talk too much. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> or, or, <laughs> well, then you're a student of your father. Well, he certainly gives good advice because that's very notable, noble. <laughs> or is it? Yeah, he's really virtuous like that. Huh? No, it's not. Mm. It's, it's uh, the worst advice. Is, uh, are you going along with that? Uh,
Do you keep to that principle, your father? I do, yeah. 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 Those people would be considered uh, anal. What? Anal, like too picky, too. Um, yeah, that's that's how he he would describe those people. Oh, uh, what would you want to tell him now if he were to say that to you? Uh, by the way, is it something you think you should have said? Both for yourself and for her? Yeah. Oh, but that's being anal. You know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's probably right or wrong. It's wrong. Oh! It's definitely wrong. <laughs> what would wrong. you tell him then? Well, I would tell him that he's... he's He's shutting down the best parts of my mind oh. by doing that. Uh, why is he doing that? What goals does he think he'll be achieved by silencing that? Looks like you have an answer to that in the dream. Then you guys can be close and uh, well, he even can be annoying and still be his jolly self. Is that right? Well, he likes to do what? all the talking. What? He likes to do all the talking. Oh. So it would be oh. very good for him for me to be quiet oh. because he doesn't like competition either. Ah. <laughs> Uh, so what would you tell? Come on. See, you have it here, right? He's being an annoying, jolly self, so he's allowed to, but not you. Yeah. So what do you want to tell him? I mean, you're a good student. Well, I can call him a hypocrite. Ooh. And. Ooh. Well, That's he would. Good. He wouldn't like that. Yeah, yeah. But would it be accurate? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you were to and tell the girl. Uh, yeah, with the girl, I would tell her that you don't, you can't get a boyfriend by leaving b books lying around and hoping that he's going to find them. Yeah, but even then, she's continuing a dangerous pursuit. Yeah, and, and I would tell her that she's. And in the same state of mind, she's going into that temple or whatever it is. Yeah. Could tell it that it's dangerous with the cars and everything. Maybe both are dangerous. Yeah. 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 But the thing is about the the first part of the dream. It's more like I'm um, I'm stopping myself from mm -hmm. talking to myself, and uh, and yeah. talk and telling myself things I need to tell, like conclusions mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. who I'm spending my time with and what I'm doing with my time. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like I'm, I'm shutting myself up. Mm -hmm. Think it's time to uh, challenge her? Yeah. Good. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pleasure.